Please allow me to introduce my friend and colleague on the C3E organizing committee, Valentini Papa, to offer some closing remarks. Valentini is the Assistant Director for Education at the Texas A&M Energy Institute and an adjunct Assistant Professor of Biological and Agricultural Engineering at Texas A&M. Please join me in welcoming Valentini to the stage. Thank you so much, Naomi, for the introduction. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm uh, the lead uh, person for Texas A&M Energy Institute. And it is time that Texas A&M University is receiving the baton for the next year. A farewell is necessary before we can meet again. But before that, I would like to go through a couple of points and hopefully I will represent and I will be the voice for some of you. A few minutes ago, the last panel for 2021 USC3 symposium concluded. We learned so much from the innovation in developing countries, and it was one of the most inspiring panels. Also, I would like to highlight these two incredible days. Thank you, Stanford, for this wonderful and motivating event. We all learned so much more about clean energy, environmental justice, and social equity. Congratulations also to all the awardees. You are amazing, and you are giving to all of us here great insp inspiration empowerment and hope. This event would not be possible without the great collaboration between the uh, DOE, MIT Energy Institute, Stanford University Precourt Institute for Energy, and my Texas A&M. The planning team works the whole year to bring together this event. In addition, I would like to thank the 40 ambassadors that, re that they represent the C3 initiative at public forums. Altogether, we work towards a stronger recruitment, retention, and advancement of highly qualified women in the energy field. Thanks also to, our, to all our, of our sponsors, including six in the leading level, nine in the sustaining, and three in the supporting level. Your support means a lot to the planning team, the awardees, and the attendees. You give light to this event. Until next year, make sure you follow us on the social media. Join our webinar series and submit nominations if you have someone in mind. So it is the time to say goodbye and I hope to see many new faces next year in person here at Texas A&M University. And welcome back our many old friends. It is time for action for all of us. Goodbye y'all, see you in 2022.